Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and uh, there are so many AI tools in the market which are very popular. You may have heard about ChatGPT, everyone knows ChatGPT, Google Gemini, Microsoft Copilot, um, Claude, Perplexity and whatnot. I wanted to do this video which is a sort of like a different format where we're going to talk about top free AI tools that are underrated that you can use across various use cases. So really fun video, really cool video. All the tools that I mentioned, I personally use them as well. So you can check out the links in the description below to try those out. And yeah, they're free for you to use. Um, so yeah, let's get started. All right, so without wasting any time, the first tool in this video is the Warp AI Terminal. I am a developer. I use terminals every single day. Some people get overwhelmed. They are like, we want to use the graphical interface on the website. We don't like putting in commands, be that uh, for Git, for example, or if you're using uh, Kubernetes, for example, sometimes you get a lot of errors and you're like, okay, what is this error? How do I work with it? Then you go to Stack Overflow or ChatGPT or whatever, you know. But uh, what I like about the Warp AI terminal is that it has AI in built. So I use this every day. You can use it for free as well. Um, let me show you how it works actually. So imagine you write a wrong command. You can just ask it, hey, what is the right command? How do I fix this? You know, um, let's say it's a long command and you messed up. So you can ask it. Um, I used to look up uh, regex online quite a lot, but now I just ask what can you, you know, uh, search according to this regex and you can create that regex for me or any other commands like if I forget something, I'll just ask it. How do you fix this error? Sometimes you get an error in the error logs, you know, in the uh, terminal, you all get error logs. When you're debugging, when you're doing something, running localhost or whatever, you can ask what AI, how do you fix this error? How do I accomplish this? So you can set up, let's say you're setting up some new tools, you can ask warp AI, hey, how do I set up this new tool? How do I accomplish this task? And what do I do basically? You can also, well, basically select different models. But another cool thing is you may know about aliases. If you don't know what aliases are, it's very simple. Like if there is a command you write quite a lot, you can create aliases, meaning shortcuts that are going to run that command every time. So you can delegate these tasks to Warp AI as well. You can just say that, hey, I want to do this. Then I want to do this. Then I want to do this. Can you just do this whole flow for me? And Warp AI is going to take care of it. There are some other nice features which are pretty standard like uh, autofill, auto suggestion, next command suggestion. So let's say you, su you do um, git uh, add, it's gonna suggest git commit next, git push next, so on and so forth. And obviously you can change the theme of how it looks like and everything. So let me give you an example. Like I see there are, there's a folder demo and a code.py file. I can just say, move the code.py file to demo folder. So I can just ask it and it's gonna run that command and now it's done. Okay, I can go to my demo folder. You can see that my code.py file is in this. What is in this file? I can ask it. I can just do cat or I can ask it what's in this file. But cat is not going to explain to me what uh, the code is inside the file, right? So this is an empty Python file. So, okay, uh, if it is empty, I can grant his access, not a problem. I will grant the access and it is indeed empty. So would you like me to help add some code to this file? Okay, uh, can you add a topological sort? I did the um, spelling mistake, so it will still work. Create plan with Oven. Uh, proceed without plan. Proceeding without a plan is faster and requires fewer tokens. Manage plan suggestion settings. Okay, I'll go with a plan, not a problem. So it's gonna create a plan for me. Let me clarify a few details. Would you like to implement using the adjacency list or agency matrix representation? Uh, I would like adjacency list. Do you want to include example test cases in the code? Yes, test cases also. Should the implementation be standard or function or part of a graph class? Let's do graph class. Would you like to include error handling for cases? Sure, error handling. I'm just going to say yes to everything. And let's see what it comes up with. It's planning and you can see, you know, step by step how it's working as well. But that's the Warp AI terminal. Um, loading the plan. 
there we go so that's what I meant you can try it out for free all the links will be in the description below now you can run the job there we go cool pretty cool stuff and uh, it's empty so it's gonna show you you know what it's doing and all these other things um, it's available for Windows as well Linux as well Mac as well you can check it out they have some amazing resources um, they have enterprise features and it is pretty cool also a new cool announcement they just made was that uh, they launched log2 so they have MCP support now MCP is quite huge um, definitely something that I recommend checking it out so if you want a video on that um, let me know I'm happy to do a little tutorial on MCP as well cool so it uh, implemented it it did everything um, you know normal DAC case it did some comprehensive test coverage as well and then it ran the Python command as well it was like Python is not working you may have Python 3 so now it's working let's see what it did cat code.py so you can see it has test cases um, class and comments and everything there you go pretty cool stuff all right, the tool number two that is also free to use that I want to share with you is called Quadratic. Now, Quadratic is uh, like spreadsheets, but AI powered. So imagine having the, you know, power of programming languages built in directly in your spreadsheet. So let me give you an example. So that's the website. You can again find the links in the description below. It has all the familiar, uh, you know, interfaces like you have worked with Excel or uh, Google Sheets in the past but you can literally ask questions about your data. You can upload a PDF file and extract all the information from it. Actually, I just made a video on it. I will link that in the description below as well. If you're interested, you can check it out. Um, you can see you can ask it to create graphs and create charts, ask it questions about your data. Um, really a nice tool for you know people who are in the data science field as well. So it can do a lot of uh, hand holding for you and uh, you can focus on things that truly matter so you can see you can ask it questions about your data and uh, it can modify the charts and whatnot you can also simplify database queries so like SQL queries on the right hand side they have the code editor so right now here you can see it's running uh, SQL commands and you can interact using natural language with your SQL commands so instead of writing the SQL command from scratch or SQL commands whatever you like to call it you can write it in uh, like hey select uh, give me all the rows in my data or entries in my data which have age more than 50 and less than 70 or whatnot and group by whatever it's going to do it on its own and uh, yeah it supports python sql javascript you can actually go to their templates in the resources section go to templates here you can see various examples so um, if you want to let's say um see the uh, startup portfolio okay so you can open that in quadratic and here this is like a demo example so here you can ask it questions about the data and uh, do all sorts of stuff with it so if you want a detailed explanation check out my recent video but i'll still link all of these description links in the description for you to check out but yeah, pretty cool uh, tool that I wanted to let you know about and highly recommend checking it out. Um, I had to include this tool because it's not as popular yet and I think it's severely underrated, so it deserves more love. So yeah, go check it out. The next one is also pretty cool. It's actually by my friend and no, he is not paying me to promote this. I genuinely believe it's a really nice tool and it's open sourced. It's called Amurex. So it's like your AI assistant uh, think of it like you know Jarvis um, it's part of the personal AI company and one of the tools it was also rank number one when they launched it on product hunt it's open source so you can go start it on github I've already done this about 2500 stars and you can contribute as well check out the issues open requests and whatnot so basically you can uh, let's say if you're integrating it in Google meet or Microsoft teams it gives you real-time suggestions during the meeting so when you're talking to people it will give you some suggestions automatically gives you the summary key takeaways um, if you join late sometimes you know people join late so without interrupt 
ting others. It will tell you like, okay, you know, this is what you missed, uh, transcripts of the whole meeting, follow-up emails, things like that. So it's open source. They have a Chrome uh, extension that you can check it out. And it takes like 30 minutes or something to onboard. So it's, um, it's actually pretty cool. You can also integrate it in your uh, inbox. So like your email. The reason is like sometimes I will just ask it, I was talking to this one client about this one thing and they shared something like this. I can't find that email, please give it to me. So it gives you, you know, information. Um, if your email is a bit messy, you want to automatically categorize it and prioritize your emails, highly recommend checking it out. So it's open source, free to use. Um, as you can see, you pay nothing for now. Um, learn more about it. You can also talk to the founders. They are cool people, some of the smartest people I know. So. I had to include Amirix in it because uh, that's what we're talking about, right? Underrated AI tools that are not being, you know, not as popular as a chat GPT, Gemini or whatever. So, and those are free to use. So yeah, Amirix is one of them. Highly recommend checking it out. Shout out to Sanskar and the uh, whole team. And uh, no, they're not paying me to promote this. I genuinely love it. The next one is for people who read a lot of research papers. So this one is called uh, Explain Paper which is the fastest way apparently to read research papers. So you can upload a paper, highlight any text that is confusing you. It will give you the explanation and you can get started for free. Um, you can see it's being used by people at OpenAI, DeepMind, MIT and whatnot. And uh, had, to, had to include this as well because uh, it's uh, you, know, you can get started for free. And as you can see, you can uh, highlight a text, like what does this even mean, you know? And it's gonna give you an explanation of um, what that is all about. And then you can also ask it follow-up questions. UI is pretty simple, no extra things um, that you don't already, that you don't need. And just to the point, and I think it's pretty, pretty helpful. So yeah, a lot of you researchers are using it. So if you're one, I highly recommend checking it out. Again, they're also not paying me to say this. This next one is pretty cool. It does a uh, text to voice. So you can essentially select like the accents and what sort of accent do you need? Good, good afternoon. So if I need that accent, I can select it. I can give it some text like, hey, how are you doing or something? Uh, pauses, volume, speed, advanced, some advanced settings are available over here. Some real world environments or something that you can, you know, uh, toggle, um, voice volume, speed, pitch, select the audio settings, convert to speech. I would let you play around with it so you can play around with hey, the settings. How are you doing? So you can see that worked. Hey, how are you doing? So you can select like uh, 250 cars. You can get more characters if you want. Again, free for you to use. You can see I'm also not even logged in and I can just download this. So it's called Voice Maker. Again, I'll leave the links in the description below. You can also do speech to speech, voice cloning. You can do multi editor, Vox Studio, which is something that they offer. AI enhancer and whatnot is coming soon. Um, and you can share your audio across multiple platforms as well. So yeah, 3 million plus people using it. A pretty cool tool if you are looking for something like this. Check it out. This next one I use quite a lot. It's called Captions. Uh, someone asked me on Twitter, what's the uh, best way to generate uh, captions in a video? So I use Captions. You can download the app. Again, they are not sponsoring this video. Um, they also have this AI avatar, which I didn't really like. I mean, it was okay, but I like their AI edit feature and I like how you can automatically add subtitles in various languages. So if you do YouTube shorts, if you do YouTube videos or something like that, um, highly recommend checking it out. Other reason why I use it is the other, other thing I use uh, captions for is uh, I can give it my YouTube URL link and it's going to create shorts out of it. So it will create like 10 YouTube shorts out of it on its own. So for content creators, highly recommend checking it out. It's also free to use. You can obviously pay to get more faster processing, but if you're patient and you don't want to spend money, you can use it for free. I know I said five tools, but I want to give a huge shout out to Zapier as well. Um, Zapier AI is pretty cool. You can get started for free. And uh, if you haven't used Zapier before, they do a lot of stuff with MCP now as well. But essentially, if you haven't used Zapier before, you can create workflows and stuff. Like, hey, if someone, if I upload a new YouTube video, I want you to send a message in Slack and create a summary and do this, so save it in Google Drive, save it in Google Sheets, uh, send this message in uh, my 
channels and whatnot and you can schedule that whole thing and now they have AI built in so you can do like a lot of stuff with MCP with Zapier it is free, free to use uh, they obviously have uh, paid pricing as well but you can get started with Zapier AI for free and uh, you can basically check out what all um, you know uh, platforms are available and you can create your own workflows uh, they also have something called AI agents where you can create custom AI that works across your stack you can also create chatbots and um, a lot of stuff so highly recommend checking it out and uh, again the links you can find in the description below that was about it really free to use top five AI tools uh, for you to check out if you know any they have to be free and it has to be like underrated uh, let me know in the comment section below um, and I would love to check it out I, I use uh, new tools every single day I keep testing out what's new in the market and uh, share my experiences with you if you have any questions let me know in the comment section below um, but yeah see you around and have fun bye